Hello, today we're going to talk about intercultural communication criticism, which will be the process you will use to conduct your second major assignment for the course. So what is intercultural communication criticism? Communication criticism is such that a communication critic makes an argument that describes, interprets, or evaluates the messages to which people are exposed to in public or collective ways. This public and collective ways part is very important because we need to say that there, this is more than a person talking to another person in an interpersonal relationship. It's more about large-scale messages that can inform and create public opinion. Um, so it's very important that we do have this kind of public or collective ways. So we'll talk about a little bit more about what an argument looks like. Um, but we're so we've got the argument the person makes about a specific message that's transmitted out to the larger public. And I want to distinguish this from journalistic description because journalist description is supposed to be I'm just reporting the facts. Journalists and there's a difference between a journalist and a editorialist. A journalist is not supposed, supposed to be making their own argument. But communication critics make their own argument about communication artifacts. And how we make how we do this is we, we say we, we make texts from works. A work is the artifact we're looking at. So it could be a newspaper article, it could be a television program, it could be a speech, any type of message that's going out to a large audience. And then we make texts from those works. So we, and every time we engage a work, we're making our own personal text of that work. And so the critical method will influence the textualization we make, right? The text we make will be influenced by the critical method that we use. Now, one of the important starting points for any work of communication criticism is what we call justification. And first, we need a justification for the study. So why is the study important? Why should we care about it? Now, in the field, there are internal justifications and external justifications. The internal justification really says more about communication theory and the understanding of communication for people that work in the field of communication. An external justification is for the general public, this is why it's important. So um, it's very important for a work that you expect to be able to be published in a journal or presented at a conference. Uh, the internal justification in, uh, with regards to communication criticism is often actually the most important one in the sense to say, I'm making this contribution to the field of communication. But for the general public, the external justification is always going to be the most important one, which means to the day-to-day -day person, why should this be important to me? So we have a justification for the study. We also have a justification for the artifact. So why is or are this or these the right artifact or artifacts for this particular study? So I could say the study is important. And it's important for these reasons. This is why you should care about it. But I could use an artifact that you think, well, I don't think this is the best one you could have used. So you need to justify the study in the first place. This is why you should care and justify the artifact. And this is why this particular artifact is the best representation for this larger discussion. OK, we will move on to talk more about communication criticism in the next presentation.